Good day YouTube, this is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Workhorse. I've uh, covered this one uh, quite a few different times on the channel here. Um, it's one of my uh, favorite EV plays. Uh, well, kind of took a step back uh, when they lost the contract, uh, but I'm still holding it, so... Um, well, I was trying to show you the one year view, but it's not working here. But uh, here's what it looks like over the last three months. So it's kind of been kind of volatile, but uh, back in March it was up at 16.12. I'm really kicking myself for not buying this uh, dip here at 7.48. And then it ran up to uh, 16.90, so you could have doubled your money there. Even from this point, uh, could have doubled your money a little bit. And currently at 14.83, ticker WKHS. I still have uh, 10 shares here at 1915. I have some more in a retirement. I think my cost base is about eight dollars, eight and a quarter, something like that. Uh, if you don't know what this is, it's a technology company that engages in the provision of sustainable solutions to the commercial transportation sector. It operates as an original equipment manufacturer. Uh, which designs and builds battery electric vehicles, including trucks and aircraft. Been around since 2007, 38 or 34.87 million um, average volume of shares and a 1.98 billion dollar market cap, almost uh, two billion there. So um, here's what look at the uh, ratings. And here's a look at some earnings coming up on uh, August 10th in the uh, pre-market. And I missed these articles. I have some other information to go over, um, but we could um, take a look at these as well here. One moment. So they were up and running for the USPS contract, and then that fell through, and then the stock went to crap, went down the toilet, so... We'll see if we can get it back up here, but it's been slowly climbing up here in the last month or two. Workhorse challenges UP USPS decision to award vehicle contract to Oshkosh. Uh, this is just dated on the uh, 16th, so that's who got the uh, contract. Electric vehicle workhorse has filed a legal challenge on Wednesday to the USPS uh, decision in February to award a multi-billion dollar 10-year contract to Oshkosh manufacturer of a new generation of postal delivery vehicles contract could be worth uh, six billion dollars in total it allows for delivery of 10 years of between 50,000 and 165,000 of a mix of internal combustion powered and battery electric vehicles workhorse had pr proposed uh, building an all-electric vehicle fleet for USPS and has support of many U.S. Uh, lawmakers. USPS uh, did not immediately comment. The build, bid protest, protest was filed in the United States court under seal. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this. USPS declined to comment on the challenge uh, but said pre-production design, tooling, and facility preparation are proceeding on schedule with the first next generation delivery vehicles estimated to appear on carrier routes in 2023. Uh, so we'll see uh, what the next couple years uh, holds for this particular company. Uh, they said in a statement it could not disclose further details uh, but will provide updates when appropriate and is permitted under a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, so very interesting information. Uh, we'll see what uh, happens with this one, but feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest. Uh, some of this I've already covered on some of my other videos. Uh, so again, the uh, vow to replace the U.S. government's uh, fleet of roughly 650,000 vehicles with electric uh, models. And so that was supposed to be the uh, big catalyst for this one. And that ended up uh, falling through, so therefore the uh, stock did as well. So here's kind of a uh, look over the one year. Could have got into it at 8.51, had a nice run up there in July 26, back in October 28, back in November, had a nice uh, run up here, 41.34. 
So the high of 41.34 and low of 7.48. Average of $19. So July 30th options now available for workhorse, uh, which is kind of tempting uh, since it is going up. Uh, June 10th, this is dated. Investors in workhorse uh, saw new options become available today for the uh, July 30th expiration at Stock Options Channel. Our yield boost formula has looked up and down the workhorse options chain for the new July 30th contracts and identified one put and one call contract of particular interest. Put contract at 1450 strike price has a current bid of 219 If an investor was to sell to open that put contract, they are committing to purchase the stock at $14.50, uh, but will also collect the premium, putting the cost basis of the shares at $12.31. So if you're looking to do an option, uh, it might be an option for you to do an option. So, <laughs> uh, Workhorse, the long-term investor notice investigation of potential wrongdoing at Workhorse Group Incorporated. Certain directors of Workhorse Group Incorporated are under investigation concerning potential breaches of fiduciary duties. Investors who are current long-term investors in Workhorse Shares have certain options and should contract contact the uh, Shareholders Foundation at the following. Uh, workhorse stock uh, follows a lawsuit filed against uh, Workhorse Incorporated over alleged security laws violations. And it seems like I covered this on uh, one of my past videos as well. In regards to uh, some of that information, uh, here it kind of goes over some more information about uh, USPS. Those who purchase shares of Workhorse have certain options and should contact Shareholders Foundation at the following. Uh, this goes over about uh, Shareholders Foundation Incorporated. Uh, moving on, why Workhorse shares are surging today. And this is dated on the 16th, so uh, it would have been uh, Wednesday. Shares are trading 9.8% at $15.53 after a report suggested the company will file a legal challenge to the U.S. Postal Service's decision to award the delivery vehicle contract to Oshkosh. Workhorse Group is a uh, technology company. The company designs, develops, manufactures, and sells high-performance, medium-duty trucks with powertrain components under the Workhorse Chassis brand. Companies' uh, products include trucks comprising powertrain and chassis. The powertrain products include eGen and E100. And moving on here, uh, that's it for uh, that particular. Over here to uh, Marketing Sentinel, uh, Workhorse Group Incorporated up 75.15% over the past 30 days. Any troubles ahead? This is dated on the uh, 18th. In the last trading session saw 15,740,325 shares changing hands with its uh, beta currently measuring 2.63. Company recent uh, per share price of 14.45 at uh, minus. 45 cents or minus 3.02 percent at a ring of the bell on the uh, day assigns at a market valuation of 1.84 billion the uh, closing price of workhorse stock is at a discount of 197.3 percent from its 52-week high price of 42 dollars and 96 cents and is indicating a premium of 66.99 percent from its 52-week low price of four dollars and seventy seven cents and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest this kind of goes over some uh, trade information share saw change of minus twenty six point nine five percent in the year-to-date performance and have moved minus four point zero five percent in the past five day showed a uh, performance of seventy five point five or 75.15% in the past 30 days. And this goes over some estimates and forecasts. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, read the rest. 
Moving on here, Workhorse Group has a uh, gold mine on its hands. This is just dated here on the 18th, so yesterday. At last check, Boeing at uh, 15 point, or fifteen dollars and one cent from Friday, with a rise of 3.84 percent. Taking a look at the stock, we noticed that its check on the previous day was 14.45, with its price kept floating in the range of 14.31 and 15.62 on the day. Considering the stock's 52-week price range provides that workhorse hit a high of 42.96 and saw its price fall to a low of $4.14 during that period. Damn, that's just huge. If he had had an option on that, that would have been some good money. So, Or sold it then and uh, rebought in at uh, $4. 414 would have been awesome as well. So, uh, Over here to uh, Reddit. Nothing there. So over here to uh, Stock Twits, currently at 1487. $20 would be nice by end of the month. That would be nice. Retires from USPS. The profits from his Oshkosh shares uh, meant that he will never need to work again. Wow. Uh, maybe he had an inside track. Who knows? be nice to have those uh, when you can't wait for Monday Lake security video getting deboot Oshkosh releases new all-electric tractor comes with a gasoline engine uh, but the few modifications and three million dollars in parts labor say can easily be converted to electric uh, I covered an electric tractor if uh, you find it in my videos it's idex idenomics idex uh, when i first got into them uh, they uh, the reason i got into them was the uh, electric tractor uh, but they do a lot more than that uh, so probably ready to do an update video on that one as well um, but i'm guessing there will be standard procedure for the court to freeze and usps contract until the case is heard over here to uh, tip ranks Currently at 1487, moderate buy with a 3.43% upside of $15.38, a high of 20 and a low of 850. Uh, but that's all that I have on uh, Workhorse. If you have any of this one, go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis and any other information that you might have on uh, Workhorse. And I didn't show where I bought mine, so I've had mine for almost a year. So I got it at 1915. Probably should have dumped them at uh, some point along the line, uh, but that didn't happen. So here's a look at the one year that we couldn't get earlier. So back in February 4th would have been the prime time, and this is where it just fell off and went down the uh, toilet. But um, anyway, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and then hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.